Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. Today I'm going to show you the best audio settings for the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro 2023 edition. It has to be the 2023 edition. There is an older model out there and it's specifically labeled just as the V2 Pro. You need the 2023 edition. The V2 Pro normal has different settings and a much worse microphone. That's why you want the 2023 edition. With that out of the way, I'm going to go show off what I found. So if we go right here, you can see this is all I use to listen to everything. Uh, a nice 0, 0, minus 4, minus 3, plus 2, minus 1, minus 1, plus 0, my, uh, not plus 0, just 0, minus 4, and 0. Uh, that's the EQ I use for everything. I found it is good for music, good for games, good for everything. I ripped it directly from a video I found on YouTube. I have no clue what these settings actually change. But I will link that video in the description for those that are curious to see where it came from. So make sure you go check that guy out and send him some support. But this has worked perfectly for games, music, everything for me uh, so far. Anyway, next up is the enhancement tab. All I do here is bass boost my mic to 100 because it is really, really quiet if you don't do it. So that's, that's all you want to do there. A lot of the time I found that Windows and sometimes some other stuff might not always apply your enhancement, so you also don't want to do anything too important here because it might not even apply depending on the system you're using this on. So just a bass boost of 100 should be good enough. Uh, for the microphone, I have it at 100 for the exact same reason, because I you need it full blast for people to even hear you. And even on top of that microphone, on my OBS, if I open the filters right now, you can see I actually have a gain of 12 decibels on top of that. Uh, along with the usual extra noise suppression and limiter. Uh, but it is it is a relatively quiet mic. Even with But with all this boosted, uh, you will sound fine on Discord and everything else. You just won't sound good in YouTube recordings because YouTube requires your mic to be a little bit louder than normal uh, in order for people at like half volume to hear stuff correctly. So that's what I use for anyone else that's doing like YouTube videos or whatever. Uh, that's the exact boost I'm using currently in this video. I have my voice gate at 1 because that cuts out a lot of my breathing without cutting out anything else. Like, it still lets me whisper and get a lot louder and stuff, but it does still cut out the breathing between me speaking or just when I'm not speaking, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, if your headset isn't catching you breathing, which might actually be the case, you can just straight up turn this off. There's no reason to have it on outside of that. Uh, I have volume normalization turned off because what that does is it makes it, if you're speaking louder or quieter than normal, it actually tries bringing your volume down or up depending on which one it has to do to try and make all of your speech sound the exact same. Uh, I found that normalization makes your voice kind of really off-putting. And even if you want normalization, I think it's better to add normalization after you're done with the recording rather than have it live uh, and going through Razer Synapse. So I just wouldn't touch the setting. Uh, then there's vocal clarity, and I'm not 100% sure as to what exactly this one does. Uh, a little bit further in the video, I'm going to mess with this one and mic noise cancellation, so you can kind of hear the differences between those two. Speaking of which, mic noise cancellation gets rid of my keyboard and mouse noises, like me you know, tapping on my keyboard or clicking my mouse. Uh, I have it at 10 because... That's all it needed to get rid of those noises for me. You might have to put a little bit higher. I saw uh, some guy in another video used a value of 24, and that should probably work fine for some people. And I've seen as high as 50, but never above 50. And for good reason, once you go past that, it really starts fucking up your audio. So don't go beyond that. Uh, and then the last thing I change is the mic equalizer. I have plus zero, plus zero, plus five, plus zero, plus zero. Minus 5, minus 4, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. Uh, yet again, from the same creator on a different video, though, as the other EQ settings, I found this sounded pretty good. Uh, outside of that, there's also broadcast mode and the default, and they both sound fine. Mic boost just kind of sounds bad, and conference sounds absolutely awful. <laughs> I would definitely not recommend using that one. But before we get into that, though, I'm going to go do the vocal clarity thing real quick. I'll go turn it off so you can hear what that sounds like. So this is me speaking without any added vocal clarity. I turn it back on. I'm going to put it down to 10. So now this is me speaking with 10 vocal clarity. And I'm going to do 100. And this is me speaking with 100 vocal clarity. Uh, if nothing else, I found it doesn't like completely mess up your audio. 
It might make it sound a little bit better or worse, but even if you have vocal clarity on the wrong setting, it shouldn't make your audio sound completely like unlistenable. Uh, the same is not true for mic noise cancellation. If I put that all the way up at 100, you like, unless I'm, I'm like almost screaming right now, and that's the only way you're able to hear me. If I so much as like lower my voice by even like 1%, you will not hear me. And I'll do that right now. I'm, I'm like speaking uh, at a normal volume, and you will see you can't really hear anything I'm saying. And I, that last sentence, by the way, was spoken at this volume right now. Uh, I'm speaking at a lower volume, and uh, you should still be able to hear me. That was exactly like the last sentence I just had, pretty much, with different words, I think. This is kind of live, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, so noise cancellation, I found, I mean, you could bring it up a little bit, but you generally don't have to. I'll even like kind of demonstrate me typing my keyboard real quick. I'll pull up like my Overwatch input display here and notepad and you can you know hear me type. Well, maybe you can't hear me. Hopefully you can't hear me, but I'm typing away on my keyboard and I'm clicking with my mouse and you can see despite all of that, you can't really hear any of it or if you can hear any of it, it's very, very faint and I'm going pretty hard on this keyboard. I mean, you can see the input display going wild, <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's all the settings there, and that's kind of what they all sound like. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all five of these mic settings, and just please let me know in the comments which one you like the most. I personally am having a really hard time deciding. I'm kind of split between this custom one, broadcast, and default. I have it, I'm having a really hard time uh, figuring out which one sounds best. So here's the default. That's me speaking about the default settings. Uh, here's mic boost. Fair warning, you might have to turn down your audio for this. This is mic boost. I think it sounds a little bit bad, to be honest, just straight up worse than default. Uh, here is broadcast audio. This is what broadcast sounds like. I've found it is a relatively clear uh, sounding audio, but something always seems kind of off about it to me, and I don't know what. This is the awful conference audio. Conference audio, from my experience, is absolutely awful. And this is the custom settings that that guy on YouTube uh, said to use. And I think they work pretty well. Like I said, comment below uh, which of these mic equalizers you think sounded the best, or maybe what vocal clarity you thought sounded the best. And with that being said, that is the best settings here. Uh, power, I leave at the default 15 as well, and I don't think demo does anything. So that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day.